Hey folks, it's Jason here. Recently I had a guy uh, message me and ask me how to remove trim off of a truck and it got me thinking. There's probably a video out there for that, but when I went looking for it, I couldn't find one. So here's a video on how to remove the side molding trim on a C10 pickup. So there's only a couple of ways that this trim is held on. There are little clips in behind the trim all the way around, but there's always a screw, or in this case over here, a stud that goes through the fender with a speed nut on the back. So in this case, the first thing you gotta do is take out this Phillips head screw. So let's take that out and go from there. So now what we've gotta do is we've gotta break it free. There's a seam right here. We've got to break it free and all we're going to do is we're going to slide it out the whole way. So without bending it, because it is just aluminum, you got to try and pull it back. So as you can see right here, the piece of trim that connects this one to this one stays connected to the one in the front. So as you're pulling back this way, it's going to slide off of that and the same with the other three clips that are in behind it. So, let's see if we can get this thing slid out. So now you can see the two clips here and the third one over here that we're holding it into place. Now, these have a little locking mechanism on them that are spring-loaded so that when you slide that trim on, you've got to kind of depress that in to get the trim to slide back over. So let me show you how this front one comes off. So this corner piece is going to be held on with studs and speed nuts. So there's one down here at the bottom. There's going to be one here and one up here as well. So once those come off, the whole thing will come out this way. Let me show you, if I can, where they are on the inside of the fender. So there's one right there. And there's another one right there in front of the turn signal. And of course the one on the bottom that I took out. And as you get going around the truck, they all come off one of two ways. So this one here has a screw and a stud with a speed nut. This one has a couple of speed nuts. This one just has a couple of sliding clips so it just slides into place. On the box, it's the same as this piece right here, except on the back corner, it wraps around and there's a stud holding that one on. We come over to the doors, there's a screw on this end and there's a little speed nut on the back side here and down here, same thing. So this was just a quick video to show you how to take that trim off. I have to take it off my truck because I gotta clean all that grind in behind it. So I've got a job ahead of me. I hope this video helps some of you guys out and uh, if you like what you see on this particular video, I've got several more how-tos on this project truck we call Dale. So I uh, hope you consider subscribing. Please give it a thumbs up and stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. We'll see you again.